welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to review these little guys. So uh, one of the things that I've been doing a lot is experimenting with tapping plastics, both in creating uh, threads, if you will, in Fusion 360, as I have here in this uh, uh, dryer, air dryer, as well as tapping them out in blocks. So this, these are happened to me my pseudo one, two, three uh, blocks. I whipped up uh, something in OpenSCAD quite a while ago, and I have this out on Thingiverse as a customizer uh, that you can come up with your own kind of one, two, three block or your fixturing jigs and 3D print them. And so one of the pieces that uh, I didn't have at the time was way to tap these and so I picked these up off of Amazon they were pretty cheap uh, they come in both metric and English versions or imperial versions I have the imperial version here so this is a quarter 20 and so kind of long story short what I do is I just pop it into my uh, cordless drill make sure it's going the right way run it in run it out run it in and it's got kind of like a little countersink here, too. And so I can just go through and tap these. See, it makes a little bit. But then I can take uh, my quarter 20 bolt and uh, threads in there nicely. So I've been really happy with these. So it comes in, I think there's, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll have the sizes uh, down below uh, or in a title line down at the bottom. But really works out nice because I use these guys to kind of fixture up different things. Uh, and I didn't have a good way, you know, I was using the speed tap with a quarter 20. This isn't quarter 20, but uh, to, to tap these and kind of uh, was a little bit slow in process. So I could put the... Uh, the actual tap in the drill but one of the things I find because it's got the drill bit in there and it's got the countersink up here it does a really nice job especially for plastic so this works really great on plastic and aluminum I've used it on both uh, really successfully so again just kind of want to share this with you guys if you're looking for a quick way to tap uh, I would definitely suggest these especially if you're doing like a, an aluminum fixturing plate for your CNC which you'll see me do in the future I use these guys to do it so anyways, if you found it interesting, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you share this with your friends. Bell's coming up over there, which means go down and hit that bell so you're notified when I put out new content. And, uh, oh, you're a subscriber, right? No? Well, hit that subscribe button. It's going to be coming up in a minute. Swag shop in the corner. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we review something else on Shop Talk. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.